Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Genesis chapter 25, verses 29 through 34. And today's story and devotional are both relatively short, but I don't want us to miss this important principle that we see people throughout the Bible getting wrong time and time again. See, we find ourselves in the middle of this sibling rivalry. Genesis chapter 25, 29, it starts off like this. It says, one day when Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau arrived home from the wilderness exhausted and hungry. Esau said to Jacob, I'm starved. Give me some of that red stew. This is how Esau got his other name, Edom, which means red. All right, Jacob replied, but trade me your rights as the firstborn son. Look, I'm dying of starvation, said Esau. What good is my birthright to me now? But Jacob said, first, you must swear that your birthright is mine. So Esau swore an oath, thereby selling all his rights as the firstborn to his brother Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau some bread and lentil stew. And Esau ate the meal and then got up and left. He showed contempt for his rights as the firstborn. See, in this story, Esau just gave up his birthright for a bowl of soup. In the Old Testament culture, birthright was something super important. In fact, those who had the birthright got a double portion of their father's estate when their father passed away. But it didn't just stop there. Uh, the one who had the birthright also assumed the spiritual leadership of the family as well. And this was a huge blessing and a huge responsibility that Esau was given but yet he showed contempt for it. So my question for you today is what awesome blessings and responsibilities are you giving up for something that is relatively insignificant? We see this time and time again throughout the Bible. It started with Adam and Eve, where they gave up their paradise for a piece of fruit, for exchange for the knowledge of evil. Later, we see one of the judges, Samson, give up his strength and his power and his opportunity for to be an amazing witness and leader he gave it up for some secret sin later we see king saul give up his legacy as the first king of israel for his pride and arrogance and we also see judas who betrayed and gave up his messiah messiah who gave up jesus for a couple pieces of silver See, the truth is that God has some amazing things for you and that he plans uh, to do through you. And I believe that God has a purpose for each and, and every one of us that only we can fulfill. But it is our duty to recognize the gifts and the responsibilities that he has prepared for us and to respond in obedience and faith so that we can live our life to the fullest. Don't trade in your birthright for a bowl of soup. Don't trade in your peace to hold on to that bitterness. Don't trade in your self-control to hold on to your anger. Don't trade in your character for some extra money. Don't trade in your marriage for infidelity. My challenge for you today is to take a few moments and think through how God has blessed you and to take the next steps necessary to make sure that you are not trading in the amazing blessings and purpose that you have from God for some other cheap knockoff. Thank you for tuning into your work for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.